Welcome to the world of wrestling with your host, Bernie Summers. Let's take it to the ring. Hello, everybody. I'm Bernie Summers. Welcome to the world of wrestling, where we will be bringing you the absolute best in pro wrestling action. Here we are in Great Britain, 1987. All-Star Wrestling Promotions, the very popular program in Great Britain that was presented on World of Sport. As there you saw Flying Fuji Yamada, and here is the entrance of his opponent, Rollerball Mark Rocco. This is a contest, 15 three-minute rounds for the Heavy Middleweight Championship of the World. And here we go, Rollerball Mark Rocco and Flying Fuji Yamada getting after each other. These two men do not like each other. Flying Fuji Yamada, this is early in his British tour. He came from out of nowhere to beat Rollerball Mark Rocco for the heavyweight middleweight championship earlier in the year. This is Rollerball's rematch. These two men have history, and they are not the best of friends. This should be a very interesting contest. And we are trying to get the ring introductions out of the way. As we're doing this, I will explain very quickly the rule system of this contest. This is going to be a British rounds matchup, 15 three-minute rounds. Basically, you, you wrestle for three minutes, and then there are minute breaks in between each round, 15 rounds. It is essentially two out of three falls. Two pinfalls or two submissions will win you the contest. Also, a knockout will win you the contest, as here you see the heavy middleweight champion, Flying Fuji Yamada. Yamada... Uh, later became internationally known. This is uh, during one of his British excursions. He was trained in Mexico, went back to Japan, was sent on an excursion here to Great Britain in 1987, went back to Japan, um, went to the Canadian promotion Stampede Wrestling with Stu Hart, and then finally came back to Japan and was given a position in New Japan Pro Wrestling as Jushin Thunder Liger. There's a little history lesson for you fans. And here you see his opponent, Rollerball Mark Rocco, also internationally known. At this point, was the original Black Tiger feuding with Satoru Sayama Tiger Mask in Japan as well. So both of these men very internationally traveled. As here you see these two men getting their final instructions from the referee in this title bout. Rollerball on the left in the red, white, and blue singlet. Yamada on the right in the red long trunks both these men receiving their final instructions before this heavy middleweight championship bout rollerball could definitely use the extra instruction as he is a not afraid to cheat in the slightest as here we go they lock up rocco with a slap right across the chest they circle tied up again yamada also slapping him right in the face and rollerball mark rocco is none too pleased they tied up again rocco with a headlock Yamada shoots him off. Beautiful arm drag from Flying Fuji Yamada. An American style arm drag. Over the side. Nice arm drag takeover. And Rocco is taking a powder to the outside. He's frustrated by the youngster. Flying Fuji Yamada. Rollerball gets back into the ring. Oh, Yamada eats a boot. And another one. Hooks him up front. Chancery. Nice vertical suplex into the cover. One, no, only one. Both these men have history. Flying Fuji Yamada, the young defending champion. Rollerball Mark Rocco, an experienced veteran. As he goes to the arm, hammer locks it, takes him down. Look at this firm control from Rollerball Mark Rocco. Really torquing the arm, turns him over into cover. One, no, shoulder up. Rocco converts into a very unique looking chin lock there. Oh, now he's just blatantly pulling the hair and converts into a full Nelson. Yamada breaks off the ropes. Oh, and he gets leveled. Nice clothesline and a knee drop from Rollerball Mark Rocco. Rocco mocking these fans here in lovely Great Britain. Oh, and an illegal right hand. And a elbow shot right to the side of the head. A flying Fuji Yamada. Small package inside cradle. One, two, no, only two. That cradle was not tight enough. Flying Fuji Yamada escapes. They're looking to lock it up Greco Roman style. 
Oh, Rocco grabs immediate control, grabs the hair, brings the leg over. Beautiful snapmare. Yamada reverses into an arm bar. An arm ringer, excuse me. Yamada twisting the arm. Rollerball Mark Rocco in a lot of pain here. Needs to find a way out. Yamada converts into a hammer lock. Rocco goes to the ropes and he charges and throws. Flying Fuji Yamada all the way to the outside. And Yamada hit hard. Went through the second and third ropes. Yamada seems to have recovered nicely though. Didn't take as hard as an impact as it looked. He makes his way back into the ring and Rocco immediately pounces. Reversal of the Irish whip and Rocco goes right into the buckle. He's looking for an atomic drop and he nails him. Rollerball Mark Rocco is getting rung around by this youngster, Flying Fuji Yamada, the heavy middleweight champion. Rocco's begging off. He's afraid of Fuji Yamada. And that's the end of the first round. Flying Fuji Yamada, if this was calculated on points, Flying Fuji Yamada definitely won that round. As you see the cornermen keeping him fresh, wiping the sweat off of his shoulders. Flying Fuji Yamada, without a doubt, won that last round. Rollerball was getting run around and out technically wrestled by Flying Fuji Yamada. As here we go with round two. Round two underway. Rocco immediately goes to the gut. Right into the backslide. One, two, no, only two. Yamada gets the shoulder out. He rolls out of the backslide. Rocco with the three-quarter Nelson. That's a hold you really don't see a lot in America. He converts into an arm bar, standard arm bar. He had a three-quarter Nelson on for a moment, but he converts to a standard arm bar. And he pulls the hair and shoots him off. Drop down. Yamada goes over. Beautiful hip toss into the cover. One, only one for rollerball Mark Rocco. He hooks him up in the front chancery and brings him to the ropes. Rollerball Mark Rocco is not afraid to use the ropes to his advantage. As you see here, he's hooking Flying Fuji Yamada into the ropes. Oh, but he gives a clean break. Was not expecting that from Rollerball Rocco. He's not afraid to cheat as they lock up Knuckles. Greco-Roman style. We're going to see who's the stronger of the two. Rocco, the, both of these men are the same weight, but I would think Yamada... Focusing more on athleticism and speed, Rocco would have the power advantage. As you see, Rocco was pushing him down, but Yamada's coming back up. Oh, and a nice overhead suplex. Yamada escapes the knuckle lock and overpowers rollerball Mark Rocco. Oh, Rocco with a headbutt. That might have been low. Snapmare over. Going for a dragon sleeper variation? No, but Yamada... Snap marries himself right out of it. And they're circling once again. Locking it up one more time. Oh, Mark Rocco with an illegal right hand right to the gut. Right to the side. Rocco now taking advantage off that illegal closed fist. Looking perhaps for a backdrop. And yes, nails the backdrop. Roller ball Mark Rocco. Drops Fuji Yamada on the top of his head. With a beautiful backdrop. Oh, and another right hand illegally from Rollerball Rocco. Snap mares him over. He goes off. And that knee was right across the throat. An illegal knee across the throat. Rocco goes to cover, but the referee refusing to count because that was an illegal knee drop. That was blatantly across the throat. The referee using his discretion to say that is an illegal move, and I will not count the pin for it. Rocco now going to the abdominal stretch off the illegal knee drop. Yamada getting stretched out. This is a good strategy by Rocco. Take out the core of the high flyer so he can't get that spring. Oh, but Yamada reverses. Yamada reverses out of the abdominal stretch. We're approaching the end of the round. Will Rocco tap? That's the end of the round. The round is over. Wait a minute. Rocco hip tosses him out of the hold anyway. The round's over. There's no need for that. Flying Fuji Yamada, very unhappy with Rollerball Mark Rocco for the illegal post-bell hip toss. Will Yamada get his revenge for that illegal hip toss and retain his heavy middleweight championship? We'll find out after this commercial break. 